Welcome to the Miltronics 7200 CNC control. I will give you a brief presentation on how to program the part shown on the previous screen. To start any program on the Miltronics control, you're going to be starting from the main screen. You can tell you're on the main screen by looking at the top center history bar located here. The top right is the active program number, and the top left is our run timer. To begin a program, you're going to start by pressing the F8 program key. To conversationally program, you'll press F2, conversational, and then F2, new. We'll give it a four digit program number. Press enter. And the program setup event is automatically inserted into every conversational program. This is where you can give it a program name. By pressing the F3 toggle, you can toggle between the dimensions, whether they be absolute or incremental, English or metric. And you can also toggle through all of the 60 work coordinates that are on the mill chunks control. To begin, or to continue, we need to press the F1 store. Typically, we'll start out with an F5 tool change located here. You can toggle between a tool change or a tool call. We'll select change and we'll start out with tool number one and that being a half inch end mill. We'll go ahead and give it a spindle speed with a direction and we'll turn on our coolant. Continue on, we'll press the F1 store. The next item will be to mill out that pocket, so we will select that function by pressing the F2 mill. We'll go to F5 pocket, and then we'll go to F1 setup. We'll determine where the pocket is according to our origin, the origin of my part being the very center. We'll go ahead and give it a feed rate, a Z axis pierce feed rate, clearance which will be a safe value above the part. Pocket is two inches deep. We'll take our first pass at a half an inch into the material and with half inch increments. Continue on, we will store this page. We'll now choose our shape, which will be a circle, and we will clear that circle out. Pocket radius of one. We will not be leaving any finished stock, so you can either leave that field blank or you can enter in a zero. Cut width is otherwise known as a step over. You can plunge into the material going straight down or you can ramp into the material with an angle that you'll specify. Climb cut or conventional cutter comp on or off. We'll store this page. We can go ahead and press the verify key right here which is otherwise known as a preview key. to show us our circular pocket. The next thing we need to do in our program is a tool change. So we'll escape back out. We'll go to tool change tool number two, which will be our thread mill. To mill threads, you'll select the F2 mill, F9 thread. Tell the control where the threads are, a starting depth above the part, and our final depth, eight threads per unit according to our drawing, clearance value. You can toggle between internal threads or external threads, right hand threads or left hand threads, single pass or multiple, straight or tapered threads, and last but not least we'll tell the control of the diameter of our threads. Let's store that by pressing F1 and then we'll hit the, the verify key located here.
the white dot would be representing the tool tip. You can see in the upper left the run timer is running. That is how long the program will take to execute at this point so far. Everything looks good so far, so we can continue. We'll escape back to our tool change, F5. We'll select tool number three, and that being a quarter inch drill. We'll go ahead and store that page. And then to complete the six holes on there, we can use the bolt function right here. There's different drilling functions that you can toggle through. Here's for you to how fast it's going to remove the material. We've already specified a spindle RPM, clearance value. I'll choose negative 2.2 to make sure that I break through the material. You can choose an increment. Radius is going to be 3.25. Angle of our first hole will be zero. Six holes and six holes we made. So I'll store this and I'll go back to the verify key located here. get peck drilling the holes and use the rotate function to look at it from over the top looks good so our program is now complete before we want to continue we gotta to want to verify this program graphically from the main menu. So to display the graphics, so press the F6 display, F3 graph, we'll go to F9 verify, the F7 menu, we'll choose our program and it's located right here. So you can press the F5 enter. You can see it's active in the upper right hand corner. So now we'll press the F1 start and cycle start. Show it isometrically. To speed things along, we will press the F8 dry. It's currently milling the threads. Now it's going to go ahead and drill that bolt cycle. And there you have it.